and I'm about to start the Gibb River Road. So the Gibb River Road is a big long four wheel drive track that goes from a town called Derby and goes all the way to Kununurra. But this is the best part of the day. The sun's going down and then you just sit back and listen. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I have left the broom area and I'm about to start the Gibb River Road. So the Gibb River Road is a big long four wheel drive track that goes from a town called Derby and goes all the way to Kununurra. And it's about 660 k's if you just go straight, but I'm gonna duck off to heaps of all the different gorges. And there's Mitchell Falls that I really wanna see, which is quite a way off the main track. But yeah, so this will probably be a few part series. I'm just looking at the sign over there to see some gorges that are close by. And there's one 141 k's away where you can actually camp. It's already the afternoon so I reckon that might be the first spot that we try and get to today. So we just drove that 140 odd k's. It's actually boiling today. It's like 40 degrees at the moment. But yeah, I have never done this track before. So I'm just gonna say it how I go as it is. It'll probably be like a few part series. So yeah, so far I haven't put my tires down cause it's all just bitumen and then any turn off at the moment is yeah, all the gravel, but yeah, it's not that corrugated yet. But I actually think we're gonna keep on going and try and make it to Bell Gorge today, which is another, I think it's under 200 Ks. And yeah, it's three o'clock at the moment, so we still have a bit of daylight. So I reckon, yeah, we'll chuck a Yui and we'll make it out over there. So we have just pulled up at this little lookout. I'm just walking down a little bit because it looks better from down here. But yeah, this drive is seriously stunning. I am in my absolute element. There's like big gorges that you drive through and just beautiful scenery on like both sides of the road. <laughs> So we're about 30 k's off Bell Gorge, but I drove past a campground and the sun is on its way down. So I was like, yep, yeah, we'll just camp here. Well, the campground's just over there, but I've come around here because we've got it to ourselves now. And yeah, I don't like setting up in the dark. Plus there was cattle on the road as well. And yeah, I don't want to drive because I don't want to hit one. So I have absolutely no service here whatsoever either. And I use an app called Wikicamp to find campgrounds because you can use it offline. And then for maps, I use an app called Hema Maps. I'm pretty sure it's like $100, but like like you zoom in and you can see every single little track 
off every single road in all of Australia. Like it's actually really handy. This sounds sponsored. I promise you both of that is not at all. It's just really, really handy to have. So this is what we're currently working with. I cannot wait to get the drone up and see what this looks like from the top. Also, some people have had some fires here. So maybe we'll see if we can see any dead branches around. And yeah, maybe we could have a bit of a fire as well. This is the best part of the day. The sun's going down and then you just sit back and listen to all the birds. And there's crickets over there too. And it's surprising how much you can actually hear in like complete silence. Oh, so good, I actually really, really like the gib so far. But yeah, I'm going to maybe try and see if I can get some branches to make a bit of a fire, have some dinner. And yeah, I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. All right, I take it back, we're not having a fire. I don't think it's gonna last very long. <laughs> we'll have a fire another time. <laughs> guys so we have just pulled up to the turn off of Bell Gorge so I'm pretty sure it's go all the way straight down to the end and then we're there the roads have been so good I thought they were going to be way worse than what they actually are there's like big sections of bitumen and yeah the gravel's not even that corrugated like I really thought it was going to be so much worse but with that being said I might put the tires down just a little bit I do run my tires pretty low they're probably on like 35 at the moment but I'll drop them to just under 30 just to save a little bit of the rattle when there actually is a little bit of corrugation All right, we have made it to Bell Gorge. Well, almost, we've got a little bit of a walk. It's only a 2K return hike. I didn't pack anything because you're not allowed drones here. And yeah, I just quickly guzzled some water, so I should be fine. But yeah, I did change into some work boots just in case because I'm guessing there's probably gonna be snakes around because it's 8 a.m. at the moment and it is already stinking hot. <laughs> Okay, so that was absolutely stunning. I am gonna be honest, I've done little to no research on the Gib River Road. <laughs> so I actually didn't even know what to expect with that, but that was beautiful. You can actually walk down to the very bottom as well, but to do that, you have to cross a section which is pretty much like waist deep water. And I felt the water and it's pretty cold and I just don't really feel like passing out today. <laughs> so I didn't do it, but if you wanted to do that bit, it's an extra 500 meters. And yeah, you can swim at the bottom. I've just seen a turn off for a place called Attic Gorge and it's only 5Ks down at this four wheel drive track so I reckon we'll pop down there, have a quick look and yeah, then we're only about 30Ks off Mount Barnett Roadhouse so I reckon I'll stop in there and have something to eat.
So I actually got a coffee from that roadhouse, which was lovely. And yeah, there's a fuel stop there if you need to fill up, but I've got the long range fuel tank from Brown Davis and it's 150 liters. And I actually should make it like the whole way up to Mitchell Falls, back down and then out to Kununurra on that one tank too, which is absolutely perfect. And yeah, I have just pulled up to a place called Manning Gorge, which is seven Ks down the road from the roadhouse. And I'll probably camp here a bit later too. And yeah, there's a hike here that's five Ks return, but you have to cross this river that's behind me. And in some points you actually have to swim. And as we know, the water is just going to be way too cold for me to actually do it, which is such a shame because apparently it's beautiful on the other side. But anyway, you get that, can't really do much about it. So I'm just going to sit by it and yeah, soak it in anyway. <laughs> So over there is what you have to cross to where those people are to then start the hike that must just go up and over there. So instead I'm just sitting here watching the fish and there actually is quite a lot of fish in there. There's also crocs in here too but I'm pretty sure they're just only freshwater. So I actually went back up seven Ks back up to the roadhouse because there was a little bit of service there. So I just did some work and now the sun is on its way down and I'm just going to head on back down and set up camp and relax for the evening. So thank you so much for watching this first part of the Gibb River Road series that's about to happen. And yeah, I'll start making my way up north tomorrow and make my way to Mitchell Falls area. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.